late, late, late. Welcome back to Bullethead's house. Bullethead house. Got pop with me. Pop with me. Speak up. Pop, where we headed? Times you go to sleep? Huh? What you mean you don't know? You don't know. All right, I left. I left the house without my glasses, so right now we're just living on the edge. I should at least just buckle up, though. Huh? Let's just buckle up. Right now we dipping. Headed to Crowd Pleasers, world famous barbershop. You know. Rick cut the major player's head, you know. He don't gotta brag, he ain't gotta show you. He know who, who haircut he didn't cut. Pioneer, y'all have seen the episode. In three quarters of the mile, the turn left. We're going to the shop again. Because until things open up, pretty much y'all gonna see me going to the shop. Well, I didn't show y'all for the past what, three weeks we went to the shop because Yeah, man, we didn't left. Uh, I don't have a mask. Uh, my mask is right here, but I'm in the car. I don't have the outside vents on. I mean, I, I got to wear a mask in the car. I don't feel too comfortable driving with the mask. I, honestly, it's hard to breathe with that damn mask on. It's hard to breathe. And I, I just can't, I can't fade it. That's the time, baby. You know what time it is. Turn left, then arrive at your destination. All right, let's get up in here, man. I hope we don't cut my appointment. I'm 15 minutes late, man. I'm going to holler at you later, man. Bullethead's house. Say peace. I'll show y'all when we get the cuts. Rickman got us right, you know. Rickman got your boy right, you know. Just like that, just like that, say it ain't so. Look at God, won't he will? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. <laughs> yes, he will. Let's see what's happening now. Yeah, it's leaking now. <laughs> no more, uh, you know what I'm saying, backyard food. Wow. Right, huh? Oh, I don't know. RTV up in here. Oh, 
Okay, get the cut, he's going to barber. Barber, we're also the only place really to barber to work with. Social distancing, you know what I'm saying? Chair is six feet apart. Makes it, makes it. six feet apart. Social distancing. Got our mask, gloves on. Yeah, man. Save my man out. You don't come too often to haircuts. But I found out a few years ago. I'm a... What's up? Shout out to myself. What you think? When man? I was getting dressed, I was like, yo, WWJD, what would Jeremy do? So I threw on the Reebok classes. What? I don't do it all. Yeah. But when I, I do, you, you know had him. him. When I do, you know what I'm saying? I put on. Man, I ain't put on. Know you had him. Come on. You know you had Woo. him just sitting up in there, man. man just sitting in the closet collecting dust. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. What's crazy? I want to see who has some BKs on deck. You know what? I want to pair, but I don't. My boy got British Knights. He a, he a sneaker head. The crazy thing is, his British Knights is like like 20 something, 25, 26 years old. Like, yeah, exactly. I, I, he a real sneaker head. Come on. Like, how you feel? Hey. You gonna say thank you? Thank you. Crowd pleasers, Nico the barber. Come on. Rich the barber. Mason the barber. You know, they make sure. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. We are done getting our haircuts. Crowd pleasers barber shop. Uh, crowd pleasers barber shop. One of my favorite places to go. Where everybody knows your name and they're always glad you came. I got you. Whatever, I got it. He didn't get it. Anyways, we got our haircuts, you know. We on deck. We looking sharp. You know, we feel better about ourselves. Uh, so me myself, I like to uh, get some chicken every time I uh, get a haircut. So we're gonna go to this place called Farm Basket. Uh, Farm Basket is a Vegas local spot. Uh, we used to go to the one on the east side. There were four locations out here. Yeah, I think he said he had five at the time. And we used to go to the one on Desert Inn in Mojave. That's the spot. Uh, that was closed. Every one of them are closed except for this one right here. Charleston and Jones. And they, they have a new one on the I-15. 215 and like Durango all the way out there farm basket love it it's my spot uh, I want to give a big shout out of the day the shout out of the day who's the shout out of the day Jay? huh oh my god let's give a shout out to my auntie Gail my auntie Gail uh, shout out of the day to my auntie Gail love you, Auntie Gail. She is uh, the youngest daughter. My mom's little sister. She treated me and my brother like we were hers growing up. Uh, my favorite part of uh, growing up was coming to her crib, especially when she got them stamps. Something you wouldn't know about if you ain't if you ain't about that life, you know. And it's okay to not know about it, but when them stamps came, it was a uh, Kool-Aid, spaghetti, and catfish, you know what I'm saying? So Auntie Gail has always come through in the clutch, you know, when we were kids. And, and let us hang out at her house when we come in town. Cook for us when we come in town. And like just treat us like we're her sons. You know, uh, special occasions you get a butt whooping if everybody bad. Uh Keisha, Felicia, April, Brooke, Bay, Dorothea, Cousin Rance, everybody get whooped. Everybody get whooped. Uh, I want to say shout out of the day is my Auntie Gail. But following that, I want to shout out my Auntie Pam, my Auntie Karen. Uh, let me see. Where my aunties? Where my aunties? How many aunties I got? Huh? My 
Auntie Pam, my Auntie Karen, my Auntie Debbie, rest in peace, my Auntie Iva. Can't forget about Auntie Iva. She used to eat the pizza and do this with the pizza crumbs. She used to eat the pizza and do this with the pizza crumbs. I used to, she'd buy us, buy us pizza shack and do this, wow. But uh, back to business, shopping local is, is some of the best best thing you can do right now is, is buy local. When you, when you go local, it's helping these places stay alive because a lot of businesses are closed. Ricardo's closed. Uh, they closed their doors last week and it's a sad, sad thing, man. Those chicken fingers? Those chicken fingers? You want some chicken fingers or not? Okay. We have a clucker meal deal with a Pepsi. Would you like that large or medium? Nah, just medium. You said large? Just me just medium. What's the drink? Uh Pepsi. Is this Coco cake? No. <laughs> oh no. You guys don't have Pepsi no more? No, so I only really have Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, Orange, Pink Lemonade, Mellow Yellow, Root Beer, and Dr. Pepper. I wrote that Dr. Pepper in. No, that's it. Thank you so much. So Jeremy don't know what he want, so he don't get nothing. He don't play with me if I say you want some chicken fingers, you want some chicken. Jay, they got some good chicken here, boy. You sleeping right now. All right. Hey, what's happening? I'm all right, I'm filming for my YouTube channel, right? Yeah, how? So my son, he don't know what he want. So I'm like, okay, you don't get nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But well, you... I'm going to shout you guys out. Is that cool? Because I've been coming here since, uh, you know, Steve sold, you, sold the company. Yeah, yeah. Since, uh, the boss dude. I've been coming here a while, you know. Yeah. So I've been going to Farm Basket since 1987. I'm old. Thank you so much. Damn! Is it? Now it's recording. Oh, snap. It was it's, it's recording? Farm basket, baby. That's my lick right there. Boy right there in the corner. That's my lick. I'm sorry I can't give you a, a run by of the place, but... Phone is messing up. I'ma holla at y'all in a minute. Bullet heads out. All right. So uh, we just hit this spot called Farm Basket. And as I was saying, this Farm Basket is a local spot. Back, boy. Farm Basket is a spot that uh, it's been around the way for a while. You know, Vegas local. If you a Vegas local and you ain't been to Farm Basket, you cheat yourself. Farm Basket is not sponsoring this show, but uh, we sponsoring them. You want to come out? So there's fire and desire. Boy, did you just fart in here? Jesus. What's that all about? Come on, son. No, you ain't locking the windows, though. Yeah, you going out the window for that one, son. Oh my God, that was loud, son. You been holding that in at the shop? No. Huh? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right mm -hmm. So anyways, we used to go to Farm Basket when we was a kid, man. So Baker's got his spots, you know. I'm gonna be honest, there's probably a mom and pop shop that I don't even know, you know, about that. Somebody else could put me up on, but I'm gonna tell you right now. I support local businesses to the fullest, you know. Uh, I do love Raising Cane's, you know, that, that, yeah, it's commercial, you know. But, but when I get a chance to support a local business, for sure. You know, whether it's food or, or, or clothes or, or they, they selling out their trunk, I support it if I can. Because, uh, 
we're the ones that's gonna circulate the dollar to the city. You know what I mean? The money circulates for the city. Been in Vegas since 87, like I said, and we gonna stay putting it down for Vegas. So I got the clucker, man. Farm basket come through in the clutch, boy. You know what I'm talking about? Got that clucker sandwich. Then I'm driving while eating. If you uh, ain't a professional driver, don't do this. But I am, and I've been doing this. Come out. Farm basket come through in the clutch, boy. Two things to put on this sandwich. Mayonnaise, cranberry sauce. I'm putting both on there. You understand? Jay didn't want no farm basket. The kids ain't big on trying new stuff. They like, work, you know, fast food chains and stuff like that. We got food at the house, you know? Plenty of food at the house. Some leftover pork chops. Cause I plan. <laughs> you know, we got food at the crib, man. I asked him if he wanted some chicken fingers, he said no. So I'm not my mom. I'm not gonna go to multiple drive-thru. We hitting one and one only. You don't want none? Well, we ain't going nowhere else, I'm telling you right now. That's what my mom used to do. My mom used to stop at the drive-thru for dad, go here. Stop for KJ, go here. Stop for her, go here. I ain't doing all that. It ain't finna happen. Bruh, I said you can have some fries, not all my fries. You a cold dude, bro. You gonna eat all my bag fries? I like bag fries. They be doing me like that, bro. Out of sandwich. I can't see you, man. We on camera, man. You can't even say nothing to the camera. There we go. Let's try again. How's the sandwich? Gonna try another bite. What? It wasn't that good. Let's get another bite then. Get another bite then. Come on, man. <laughs> Do it for the vlog, bro. <laughs> Do it for the vlog, bro. A good boy. Got to hit up farm back. Stimulus package come. Get that 1200. However many kids you got. Get a farm basket. Get crop bleachers up. Get your hair cut. Come out. Put the money back into local businesses. Target, Walmart, Home Depot. All these places, they insured. They're going to be all right. They ain't going to close. Hit the local spot up. Hit the Star Nursery up. If you're from Las Vegas, you know about Star Nursery. Hit the Star Nursery up. You know? Hit the local spot up. We show locals love in Vegas. That's how it's supposed to be. Hey, bro. I, I ate my four fries already. How, how was yours? I'm good. So you gave me the crumbs. No, there's still fries. Out of everything I bought. That's how we doing things. I didn't give you gloves. Damn. Give you the rest. Yeah, I ate it. The cranberry sauce. Good. I got this. I got this. You gonna smear it? Thanks, son. Damn. You wanna bite? You bite of this, boy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get up out of there. I thought you said you was hungry. You ain't hungry, boy. You 
ate all my damn fries. That's why you full. Never play with a fat man's food. Yeah, man. It got to be softy, dog. What do you think about farm bass? Good fries? They got to be good. You ate all of them. We up out of here.